Hey there folks, thanks for tuning in to a brand new video review and right now we are taking a look at the R2-D2 feature action figure from the Disney Store. Now I was in the Disney Store a few weeks ago and I saw this R2-D2 in the store with two different packaging. I didn't quite know what the difference was only to realize that they had packaged this in the last Jedi box appearance and then I guess they didn't sell enough, but yet they still continued to produce them and box them in the Rise of Skywalker packaging, which is what you see. Now, I ended up, I think it was on sale in the store for maybe $25, and I want to say the retail, original retail is maybe $35 or $40, but I was able to apply coupons and discounts and whatever else there was when I bought it online, and plus I got free shipping. So this came out to like maybe 10 or $15, so I figured, hey, why not? It's a pretty cool looking R2-D2. I love R2, it's you know something unique, it's something that I really don't have in my collection, and I probably can't afford a life-size R2-D2, but this is a pretty good size that I can still have prominently on display, and it comes with a cool, a few cool features as well. But taking a look at the box, we do see the window packaging and the uh, Rise of Skywalker logos on the top and bottom. We have some Kylo Ren right here, the Disney Store logo. Here it says there are 25 plus sound effects, and here it says you can try me. So let's go ahead and try him um, before we open him up and really see what he is capable of. So he does have these two little vents right here and the top one is actually turned into a button. Help me Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only help. Ha, oh, that just hits right in the feels. So they really did just extract all the actual sounds and uh, the voices and dialogue essentially from the movies and plugged it into this figure. So I won't go through all of them right now, I'll go ahead and do that once I open it up. Here is a side view, nothing too much going on there. And then here is a view of the back, and again just says, you know, sound activated, R2-D2's head and body move. There is mode 1, which is button activation to move R2-D2, which I guess it's what I was just doing, where you press the button and he moves. And then there is mode 2, which is sound activation to move R2-D2. I'm assuming you talk to R2, but let's go ahead and find out once we open him and get him out of the packaging. And the other side just has a picture of R2 as well. All right, so here we have R2 out of his packaging. And overall, he looks fantastic. I mean, they did a really great job on the on the paint applications. Very simple, very clean looking R2. You know, the classic white body with the silver dome and the blue trims and different doors and silver plating here and there. Overall, you know, it looks really great. And I'll do the, some of the test mode um, voices again. <laughs> And you know, he has a really loud sound effect. And I'm pretty sure, <laughs> I'm pretty sure this bottom one is the actual speaker, or maybe, yeah, I think so, this might be the speaker. Let's get a quick closer look at him before we go into more of the sound details. Just again, super great looking R2. I don't think any of these open. Oh, they need to press Help that me, again. Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. And I think I saw in one of the pictures that one of the, wherever his um, uh, little antenna is pops up. But and actually this is pretty cool. This does, well this does spin but doesn't rotate so that kind of sucks. Um, let's see, do any of these pop up? I don't, oh, you know what, now that I see it. There's a little slot right here, so I'll go ahead and pop that open if I can. It's a little bit hard. There we go. Come on. Just jammed in here. So that is, oh, actually, that's a little bit unfortunate. It doesn't twist around, but when I do come back around, I'll show that off. And let me get some more lights on this side, just so you can see it. And yeah, the little antenna doesn't turn or change, which kind of sucks. That's not even facing the right way. So I'm a little bit disappointed that they did that. And actually, now that I notice it, it does look like there's a few indents here and there. I hope the camera can pick that up. I mean, 
not too much. I'm, I will say I'm glad I didn't pay full price for it because it's overall, you know, it's nothing that special of a figure. I'm sure we've had plenty of these in the past. It's definitely something cool to pick up for the holidays when it's so cheap and on sale. Do, you do any of these move? Um, no, the legs don't move back and forth. And the first one, nope, it doesn't either. Let me pop that one back in. Let's take a look at the bottom. So those look like the bottom. It has these wheels. They don't really turn. So I guess once you turn on that mode, they will turn. And there's a little like a ball joint here. And this, I don't know why this is collapsing. I don't know if it matters or not. But the try me mode, you can turn it off. If I can flip the switch, it's pretty tough. Okay. And I guess this is where the batteries go as well. So now that he is off, nothing works. So you can actually leave him displayed without having to worry. The mode one. Oh, there we go. <laughs> now he's really talking. Let's see what happens. R2. Wait, I thought mode one was not the voice. I don't know, maybe they messed it up on the packaging, but R2. <laughs> oh, so hold on, R2. He can't go that far. Okay, I have you on an angle so you won't run away. And you can, as you can hear, those wheels are pretty loud. R2, come here. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, that didn't go as planned. <laughs> R2, relax. I definitely need a bigger space than my little light box that I just built. R2, stop. That's not stop. And actually, I'll show you the bottom of the wheels. Nope, of course, now he stops. R2, D2. Why does he keep coming forward? He's a fast little guy. Woo. Okay, let's try something simple. No. <laughs> well, this review is not going the way I planned. You know what? Let me change his mode again. Uh, so that is mode one. Let's see mode two. Oh, you know what? I think what happened was I did move the button too far, so that's why it turned into mode two. Let's see what mode one does. And he is on an angle, so that's why you hear the wheels and the motor, but he's not moving. And that's loud. I mean, I'm really glad I didn't pay that much for this. It's kind of fun to have playing and moving around every once in a while, or if you have kids or something, but that is a super loud motor and wheels in there. Okay, so I will say, I... Don't think I'm a big fan of it, of R2 moving every time you press the button or say R2. I wish there were some instances where he would just turn his head and turn on the lights and everything, but I don't think having, having, making him move every single time is such a great thing. Let me go back to, I think, well, I guess in the try me mode, that's when he won't actually be moving around. And when I go there again, so this is when he will only move his head and do the lights and sound. So I guess that is the option, which it doesn't really matter if you leave it on Try Me because he's going to do all the same sound effects and scream. So yeah, well, there you have it, folks. Just a quick overview of this R2 figure from the Disney store. And before I forget, let me go ahead and measure this too and just give you an idea of how tall he is. He stands, let me turn this one around. He's about... 11 inches tall now he is at an angle because of the wheel setups that's pretty much why but still he's just under 11 inches he is about i want to say six inches wide pretty good size figure for you to have in your display or for kids or even in the office honestly that's what i thought about doing at first putting it in my office but i don't think that's gonna work and I was kind of hoping some of these would open up, maybe turn him into some kind of office display, desk organizer, but regardless, I'm happy, but I'm glad they didn't pay full price. Uh, thanks all for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Make sure to subscribe and follow all my pages and channels and stay tuned for the next video.